when you sold the company, Mark, you gave your employees, uh, it was reported $35 million, you gave them bonuses. Why did you feel the need to do that? You know, and it ended up being a lot more actually, but it, I'm not there without them. And I did it, my first two companies, I did it with Micro Solutions. You know, we had 80 employees, they all got paid. I did it with um, Broadcast.com out of 330 employees, 300 became millionaires. And I wanted to do the same thing with um, the Mavs. You know, they they were there for me the whole time. And, you know, it was enough money that for those who were there, you know, 20 years or more, it was life-changing money. You should think? Yeah. <laughs> so when you started the first streaming platform, you are like, okay, I can foreshadow i can think this is heading in this direction you say you and your partner you bought a computer you and your partner you guys sit down and you start coding how long before you before it started becoming profitable because that's the, that's the hard it's, i mean yeah. it's, if, if it's it profitable took, right away it like, took us four years to get to break even okay so we had gone public it was the number one ipo in the history of the stock market in 1998 and we sold it in um, June of 2020, I think it was. And that second quarter, we were right around cash flow break, break even. But we were only in business for four years. And so, you mean 2000? Or 2000, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and so we were only in business for four years. So that wasn't horrible for a tech business like right. that. Did you ever, I mean, YouTube, Netflix, I remember this had to be 1999, 2000. I went to a nail, I went to a nail shop. And the lady was telling me about how she get movies from Netflix. I said, so tell me about it. She said, what you do is that, you know, you tell them what you want and they'll send it the, the DVD right, yeah, yeah. right to your door. You watch them when you want to and you put them back in the thing and send them back. I was like, I said, well, what about Blockbuster? She's like, nah, I think Blockbuster is going to go away. I was like, I don't know about that. She was right. <laughs> she was right. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, had I just taken like $10,000, $15,000. And it, put it in the Netflix, boom. <laughs> No kidding. Did you know that it would blow that there would be a net because you were new YouTube and Netflix yeah, before they were even yeah for of. sure. I, I mean that's why I was so upset with Yahoo. Like they had a huge opportunity. I mean they were YouTube before YouTube when they bought us, and you know when the internet stock bubble burst, their board of directors just say pull everything back right. instead of sticking with it. And you know Reed Hastings and the folks at Netflix. They were like not pulling back, right? They they were going for it. And then YouTube shows up and they couldn't even afford to stay in business. But then um, Google buys them and that just changed everything. Yeah. Because because at first YouTube was a streaming platform. Now they're more like ads. I mean. Yeah. I mean, it was like 2006 they started and it was just like little short videos and stupid right. videos and stuff. But, you know, credit to them. They they got Google to partner and Google did it right. So, so when a company comes in and they says, okay, we're going to buy you, is that all cash? Is that cash plus stocks? In our case, it depends on the company, right? But in our case with broadcast.com, it was all stock. And so um, in my mind, I was like, oh, shit, right? What if this all the stock market crashed? <laughs> so I, I went once I was legally able to, I did something called a caller. So I sold the right to somebody to buy the stock at a higher price that's selling calls. Mm -hmm. And then I used that money to buy puts, which protected me in case the stock price cratered. Well, the stock price did crater and those puts became worth even more money than I would gotten from the stock. And they called it one of the top 10 trades in Wall Street history. So that's how they call it. The yeah. So what was that that number one e-commerce purchase? What did you purchase? I bought, bought a jet online. G, it had to be a Gulf Stream. Yeah, G, G5. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I just got paid, and <laughs> I was like, time is like my number one thing. I want a jet. Right. right. I want a jet. And so I'm like, well, I'm, I'm an Internet guy. I'm going to practice what I preach. So I got a contact at Gulfstream. I emailed them and I said, OK, can I get a, a test flight? They set up a test flight. I'm like, OK, I like this. <laughs> Hard to you know, figure out. I liked it. Right? right. What's the price? Told me the price was 40 million dollars. I texted them a deal. Right. Send me the paperwork. Email me the paperwork. Right. Emailed it to me. I did a wire transfer, did the whole thing online. Did, so the jet was already because you can build your own jet, but you didn't. No, have you that. can't build your you, own jet. You can't jet. build your own No, hell no. Would you want Hey, hey, Shannon, come on to my jet that I built. Would you no, get no, on no, that no, jet? No, no, no. What I'm saying, like, you can <laughs> Oh, no, the features and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not build. Hell no. I ain't more of wheel for right. I don't know nothing about flying. No, right? Um, yeah, so I, that's what I did. So I asked for, you know, where's the where's the kitchen in it? How many seats? What's the layout and all that? And and the test flight that they gave me matched that. Okay. Tell us about 
was it American Airlines? You bought lifetime two, pass. Lifetime passes. You bought two lifetime passes where you could fly first class anywhere, anywhere yeah. in the world, yeah. whenever you wanted. Right. So it's just one. It was a little card I got, right? Yeah. But I could take anybody with me. Okay. Right. And so this is after I sold my first company, Micro Solutions. I was 29, I think, 30, and um, you know, just sold this company. Walked away with a few million dollars. And I was like, my buddies and I going out just got destroyed. We went to all one of these old school steakhouses. They don't really have them anymore, but um, where you could ask for a phone and plug it into a jack in the wall there right at your table. Yes. And I'm like, you know what? They're like, what do you want? Well, you know, what do you think you're going to do with all this money? And I'm like, I don't care about cars or houses, but boy, you know, I fly a lot for work. If I could get this lifetime pass, I wonder if such a thing exists. So I'm like, like I even knew because I had memorized because I traveled like 1-800-433-6464, the American. I think that's still the number, right? <laughs> Is it? Does that sound right? But anyways. Um, we'll confirm. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, so I called them up, just slurring my words. Do you guys sell lifetime passes? And they're like, let me connect you to the air pass department. I'm like, what? <laughs> Bam, right? And so I got all that information, hung over as hell. And um, I've signed up and it was Initially, it was $125,000, and then I upgraded it, I think. I forget how much I paid, but it gave me almost unlimited miles for me and somebody else for the rest of my life. Wow. Yeah. So where, where's the pass at now? I gave I, my, my dad's passed away. I gave it to him, and then I gave it to a friend as a gift. So you, it was transferable? Just one time. Just one time. Yeah. Okay. And But because my dad died, they let me do it because he didn't use it a lot, right. and I didn't use it a lot. So um they let me transfer it. I don't think they do that anymore. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't. They don't. <laughs> Can you put somebody in the, the, the way people But what a deal, out. right? I mean, let me just tell you, like $125,000, and I'm thinking, okay, doing the math, that's 12 cents a mile. I can deal with that, right? And like, I'd be out in LA or wherever, Dallas. I'm like, you want a road trip? Let's, let's call American Airlines and see if they got any flights tonight. Let's go to Vegas. <laughs> What's your name again? Doesn't matter. Let's go to Vegas. <laughs> Boy, you lived a life. You, you <laughs> yes, I did. You that was what the early '90s, man. That was a different time. What type of investor is Mark Cuban? Now, just really conservative. You know, I I like investing in um, small companies, startups, where I can help entrepreneurs because I like to do that. That's what I do on Shark Tank. Um, but with interest rates at five plus percent, why take risk? Right. Right. So it's easier to do that. Um, either through tax freeze or treasuries or whatever. Um, but I still like to invest in startups. Right. Man, you on Shark Tank, y'all be taking them people. Man, man how y'all gonna take half the company? They done work like five, ten years trying to build this up, and y'all come in and taking 27%. They offered you five. Can you go to 10? Why you taking 30? <laughs> Damn. Well, it depends on the size of the company, right? Because <laughs> I'm giving them a lot of money because if they didn't need the money, they wouldn't be they there. They wouldn't be there. You're right? absolutely correct. And so they're not there because, you know, Maybe they're there because of the commercial, but um, they're there because they need help. Right. And so, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I've invested in hundreds of companies there over the 15 years. Some have done really well. Beatbox Beverages, you may have heard of. Dude Wipes, you probably have heard uh, heard of. There's just a bunch of them that are just destroyed, just killed it. Um, and some of them didn't do as good, right? And so you've got you've to understand that, you know, 25% are going to go belly up. Right. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.